Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. Now we're being quite quiet because there's there are people knocking about, there's motorbikes and stuff as well. But we are somewhere pretty special. We've been tipped off about this place, we've been told to come uh, and check it out because there's some pretty amazing things where, where we're looking just at the other side of the wall in front of us. Hopefully, just at the other side of the wall. Yeah. Jesus Christ, it's getting close there. Yeah, so we need to be really careful. There's things that are quite sensitive that people wouldn't want you getting hold of and walking around with, but we'll show you that when, when we, we get, get in. in. We don't know if we can even actually get in this way. And just one thing I want to show you is that old army type vehicle there. Oh, it was a trailer of some sort. It's really odd. But yeah, we, we're not 100% sure how to get in this way. Or if you can get in this way. So, you can't get that way, right. Let's head off in this direction then. Uh, barbed wire, careful of barbed wire under. You can get in there, but I don't think you can get back out again at the other side. Let's have a look around here. Oh, can, I think we can get right around the side of it, Andy. Straight away. Look at that, Andy. It's a fucking rocket launcher. Isn't it? We said. There are some impressive things in here. That is a full on six millimetre rocket launcher. Oh my God. You got one as well. So these are Cold War, that's too bright, I can't see, just to angle it, that's it. Yeah, Cold War rocket launchers and we've been told to look right round here, keep an eye open, see what there is. I'm just gonna have a quick look in here. See if we can get out the other side easier rather than walking through all the bits. Um, no, you can't. You're gonna have to walk around the side, but the brambles look horrendous. Oh, one sec, Andy, wait a minute. No. Right, we'll try and find our way outside and uh, we'll meet you in a minute. Right, I want to say thank you to the guys that told us about this place. I don't want to mention the names because they've asked us not to mention it. But oh, you can get round this side, Andy. Are these more of them? What are these? No, that's not them. Oh, it's like a maze, mate. I don't know what any of this is. I don't think there's anything in there. We'll go and see if we can find something. Look, the moon's in the sky. Should be in our hotel room by now. But we decided to come here first. In fact, we may as well just follow Andy up here. That's, oh, Jesus, I've got a fly me here. So these containers are full, or well, some of them are full of Cold War stuff. Jesus, I thought I was a rat or something. It was just that moving on floor. You can't get around there at all. So yeah, straight away, launcher for gun, 21 millimeter. There. No, oh, your torch is too bright. It's all right, I'm blinding you. What are, you, what are these things? What's that? I think the main stuff is at the other side of this building, Andy. Yeah. 
like in front of it round here. So we'll head that way. I'm just going to try and get through or have a look at least inside this building. I don't think you can probably get out the other side. But it's just full of scrap. Oh my god, Andy! Have you seen it? Look at this! It's a full on Jeep. Just sat inside here with a helmet as well. I know there's loads of them. I'm falling over rocket launchers. Oh, mate. That's brilliant. <laughs> that fly up my nose weren't. <clears throat> right. So I've got the helmet on. I don't know if you can hear me because of the helmet. I'm going to have a wander around. My beard sticks under the helmet. What's that all about? I don't think that's supposed to happen. So I want to... I have some photos in this car, I think. So we've got the old fuel canisters. Look at them now. These are all rocket launchers. Hundreds and hundreds of rocket launchers. Oh, from, that <laughs> from that fucking leg. Oh, mate. I didn't expect this. I don't know. I was looking at some of those as well. And there's like multiple packs. Is that like... illuminating you. Wow. And like I say, we've been told this is all Cold War stuff. Don't really know much about these things, but there's a lawnmower. Got a nice little lawnmower here. Um, let's have a, a gander. What's that? This. Some weird looking things. I don't really understand what any of them are, apart from the ones that say what they are on them. Yeah. That ladder's old. Yeah. Yeah, so I had a couple of photos inside with the helmet on. It's absolutely fucked. But it's definitely. Oh, me that, I'd say, wouldn't you? Right, let's uh, make our way out and back round the front. Jesus, I literally can't stand anywhere without falling over. Rocket launchers. Yeah. Just notice this as we're walking out, that can be pulled along. And for me, that looks like one of those... They put the big things sticking out here. Yes, and shoot it out into the sky like ballistic, is it ballistic missiles or something? Um, land to air missiles or whatever. And it spins round. And I don't know anything about these things, but that's what that looks like to me. Comment down below if you know. I thought that was a wheelie bin or something at first. But reading the outside of it, four missile Milan, 82 kilogram. Right, I'm gonna head off this direction. Right, so that's looking like tank tracks to me. A big fucking pile of tank tracks. Absolutely loads of them. It would have been good to come in here in the day. For a start, our, both our batteries on as torches are on the way out. So if they keep just dropping out, you can you know why that's what it is. But it would have been good to come in the day, but we've literally run out of time today and we've got no time the rest of the time we're here. So, I'm going to go a bit further in. I've heard there's something pretty amazing. I hope we can find it. Fingers crossed. I'll well, have to get right in the nicks and shits of things and find it though, because I don't know where it is. Has that gone all together now, yours? It stays on for about 10 seconds and goes off again. All right, let's hurry up then. Jesus Christ. What the fuck are they other than sperm that have gone wrong? Look at them. Got the tail on them and everything. They're mint. I don't know, would they, are they the ones that make the noise when they come through, drop from the sky? Like the whistly noise? 
Possibly. I, I just, I don't know. Carry on up here anyway. Like I said, we're gonna have to be careful with the torch, so we've got to get around here pretty quick. Oh my fucking God. What have we just walked round into? That, not that you can tell straight away, is a big pile of those big ammunition cases. Look at them. Oh my God, they're heavy as well. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's so heavy. So yeah, we're just now, we, we're working on phone torches, unfortunately. Um, oh look, another, it's another one of them, isn't it? Yeah. They're heavy as well. Oh my God. It's destroying things now. What's the, what? Ugh, that's disgusting. I think to find the big thing we're looking for is back that way. Okay. There's a little path that runs through the woods. So, like I said, I apologise about the torches, but at the end of the day, we're in the middle of a foreign country. Oh look, mine, heavy, with fuse activator. So they're mines. Jesus Christ. Why would all these things be here? Just dumped. Just take them to the scrap, scrap yard. <laughs> yeah, but you, you wouldn't think they'd be here all this time on. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so we've got even more shell after shell. These are all used ones. This different to the ones we were looking at before. Hey, massive. It gives you, when I put my hand down, it makes you realise how big they actually are. Got some sort of big gassy type canisters. Oh God. If you've seen what we've had to do to get round this place, we've had to climb over piles of shredded metal and all sorts. I don't know what that is under there. That looks like part of a fucking tank. And you know, it might actually be, because they're like, I don't know, because it's got wheels. I don't know, maybe where the tracks fit on it. I don't know how tanks work. But it's got like, that's the big base of it, like the sh chassis. And then it's got like wheels with gaps down the middle, which I'm guessing these big tracks like these here fit into. I don't know, tell me below, help us out. Because I certainly haven't got a clue. As you can hear, I'm sweating, I'm boiling. It's killing me, this torch is gonna go off any second. And he's rummaging round over there, which makes me wonder if he's found what we're looking for. But I hope we do. I hope we do find the main thing. If we don't, it's unlucky. I might put a clip in from the other guy's video if he lets me. But yeah, this place is unbelievable. Absolutely crazy. Who would expect to see all these things just dumped and left. Brilliant. How the hell have we walked past this three or four times? Look at the size of that. What's that on it? Is that to get the explosives out as well? Look at that. Fucking massive. Out of the boxes as well. Ballasted munitions box. Ah, oh, I'm just so frustrated because I don't think we're going to find what we've come and looked for in the first place. Wow, some badass shells there as well, aren't they? Yeah, that's that's like you get out of a gun, but a lot bigger. Obviously, that was the most ridiculous statement I've ever come out with in my life. It's like a you get out of a gun but a lot bigger. I'm just gonna try and get up this hill. It's such hard work. Everywhere you walk, it is a fucking, wow, almost fell then. Treacherous as fuck. Had some close calls anyway. Um, I'm just gonna have a look. There's fucking wrenches and all sorts. Bits of car, all of a Good job I've had my tetanus jabs. But yeah, we're, uh, we're running out of ideas, I think. I think we might have to go 
I might put some photographs and video from the other guy's video if he lets me do it. So. What a shame. This is what we're looking for, one of these. See, that one's green. Yeah, a green one of these. And that's empty. With something in it. Fuck. That looks like a... How big would that be? have to be if it's a rocket. Surely it can't be. It's huge. But it is. Just go and stand next to it, just to show how big it is. It's absolutely it's massive. So. Anyway, I think we're going to have to make our way out now anyway. I am gutted, but you know what? Amazing, some of the things we found. <laughs> I'd never expected to find anything like that. Sorry. Like that way, we? Yeah, let's get this one once then. again. Just sort of stumbled upon something that looks pretty military to me. We've got, Jesus Christ, I can't get myself around. We've got some sort of big vehicle type thing there. What does that say? Maximum towing. And then you've got this one here. I just have no idea what any of these things are. I would be really interested to find out if anybody knows. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way back to Andy now. Shells and stuff everywhere. You just fall over them. But it's a weird looking vehicle, that one, whatever it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm absolutely exhausted and I'm sweating like fuck. I'm knackered, but you see it in my eyes. Yeah, I can tell. And become irritable. I've become quiet now. Yeah, that's what I meant, really. Quiet now. Yeah. Absolutely knackered. Trust me, I'm knackered. So we're supposed to be going out for a drink tonight, but that ain't happening, as it's 11 o'clock at night. And, and we've we... been on the road since 6 yeah. this morning. So that's dedication for you, isn't it? Don't, don't sing any songs to do with dedication or get us... No? Mentioning any people that you should going, mention. I was going to say it's dedication or stupidity. Yeah, probably both. A bit of both, but that's all, isn't it? It certainly is. Anyway, we're going home. Well, we're not going home. We're going to our hotel that we haven't been to yet. And we're going to have a, a bit of a sleep and a drink of water. So hydrate, children, and have a good night. Night. Bye-bye. Right, guys. So uh, I've just had a bit of a, a chat with uh, Anthony, Anthony Claus, Urban Exploration, the guy that gave us the tip off for the place. He said, we can use a clip to show you what we were looking for. Um, get over to his channel. He didn't want mentioning it at first, but to be fair, he's happy uh, for you guys to bomb over and see his video of the same place and all these other places. One thing I will say, it's not in English, but definitely worth uh, going over just to see the things there. Um, I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks a lot again, guys. Mark, check that down. Oh my God. Mark, what the fuck? What? Oh my, that's gonna hell a gun. You see that down?